Um, hello, so today we are going to do um, this problem as part of uh, November daily challenge. Um, so the problem is um, unique number of occurrences. So we have an array of integers, um, array, and we want to return true if the number of occurrences of each value in the array is unique. Um, and we want to return false if not otherwise, right? So basically two you can see here occurred twice, one three times, and three one time, right? So the number of occurrences, so the, the occurrences, the count of the occurrences itself is unique. Um, and then here, each of them occurred only once, so it's not unique, we return false. Um, and here you can see three, for example, occurred three times. Uh, one occurred one, two, three, four, okay? 10 occurred just once, zero twice. Um, so you can see it's, uh, they are all unique, right? So that's the idea. Um, the length of the array c is not too long, it's up to 1000. Um, so what we can do actually is pretty straightforward. We can just count the occurrences of each. And then once we have that map or counter, if you are in Python, um, then we can just check if they are all uni unique, right? Um, so pretty straightforward um, possible solution here. Um, so first we need to get the count of the occurrences. Um, in Python, we can use counter, but if you are in another language, you could use a hash map and just go through the elements and... Um, yeah, so if you are in another language, you can use a hash map and just go through the array and each element increment by one, right? Now, to check if it's... Um, to check if it's uh, unique, we can just get the values, which are the occurrences themselves, instead not the numbers. Um, and we can check that the length of this one... So let me just maybe make it super clear with values like this. Um, okay, um, or accounts, let's call them. So we can check that the length of that is equal to the length of the set. So the set will eliminate duplicates. So if the length with the, the length of the all the counts is equal to the length of the unique counts, that means there are only unique counts, right? And so if that's the case, then we want to return true. Okay, um, so let's run this and let's submit. And that passes. Um, yeah, so in terms of time, this would be O of n, right? Um, in terms of space, we are using this extra O of n um, counter, or if you are using a map, uh, a map, right? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's problem. Please like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.